Hey there, Scorpio. Welcome to reading for uh, the week of October 30th. Duh. Um, you know, it is your it is your time. It is almost Halloween, which is Scorpio's favorite holiday. So uh, thank you for being here, Scorpio. We're going to jump right in here. You have this TikTok card and this To The Sea card. I feel like it's time to get moving on, on something here, Scorpio. Something that you're working on or that you want to work on. Um, the TikTok card, it kind of, it doesn't really say you're running out of time, but it does say get moving. <laughs> so, you know, again, if you have your eye on doing something with your life or like accomplishing something important, especially with the 10 of Pentacles here, uh, then I think it's time to start taking the steps necessary. The thing about the 10 of Pentacles is that really, you know, I love the 10 of Pentacles. Don't get me wrong, right? I think it's like one of the best money cards. I think it's the best love card in the tarot as well, because it represents everything you want and desire in your life. But to me, the Ten of Pentacles is not just something you get. It is building, leaving a legacy. It is something that you have to put work into over time. And it's something that you will work on for the rest of your life as well. Again, the Ten of Pentacles is building and leaving a legacy, which for the most part, you don't do that overnight. So, <laughs> you know, it's something that you should continue, continuously work towards, right? And, um, you know, I, I kind of feel this is saying that you have your eye on something. And funny enough, going this direction here, you go Page of Pentacles to the star. The star is about having a North Star, like having something that's bigger than you to focus on uh, that motivates you to action. You know, it could be like something that you think is your purpose or something that you're excited to do or that you want to do with your life. And the Queen of Wands is very similar. Queen of Wands has been coming up like crazy in all the readings. And she has this sunflower in her hands here. That sunflower points towards the sun. So, you know, it points towards her joy, her happiness. The reason I think everyone gets this is because I really do believe the universe is trying to get everyone right now to move towards uh, do, building a life that they more desire, something that's more fulfilling, something that's more um, exciting. And yes, you have to create it. You have to put the work in to make it happen. It's not going to just magically appear in your life. And, you know, again, it, and I'm not saying it's necessarily going to be easy, but the energy is here for you to work with so you can make it happen. And again, I think as long as you're doing that, then you're going to be finding more success. But again, I think we're in a transition phase right now where the universe is like saying it's kind of like the death of the old structure you know which is like you know driving four hours both ways uphill in the snow to work and then you know suffering in traffic and then being at a job that you hate and you know all this other stuff right those days are over so now i feel the universe is trying to get us to bring uh, do things that we more joy that bring us more joy more happiness uh, it doesn't necessarily have to be a passion project or a passion-based business again i kind of go both ways on um, passion-based businesses I know a lot of experts say don't have a passion-based business, but I have one and I'm actually starting a second one as well. Uh, that's kind of like more of a side project for me. Um, and I don't know, maybe there'll be some videos about it. It's, it has nothing to do with tarot. <laughs> uh, it, it just has to do with me being a weirdo for the most part. But what I would say is, you know, as a person who has one that has been going for like nine years, I can tell you that it can work. Um, you know, this is a passion project for me. I just consider this a passion. I really don't even consider this a business um, necessarily. Um, you know, because it requires me to be a part of it. So I don't consider that a business. But, you know, what I would say is, you know, I, I kind of go both ways. I see both sides. And, you know, sorry for rambling. But what I would say is that, you know, it can you at least find something that is that you are a little bit more passionate about, right? Um, can I, I think it's better. I think the better way to say this is I think it's better to Maybe you, uh, you know, especially for making money, it's like, I think it's better to develop a skill that requires you to grow or that requires you to learn something, right? So maybe there's some aspects of it that you're not totally passionate about, uh, but it's something that you can do, if that makes sense. Like, you know, I've worked in marketing for a hundred years and, um, you know, I'll tell you that it's like, there are some certain things that I do not love about it, but um, I continuously learn about it. And it's like, I don't have to force myself to do it. That's kind of like, I don't know, it's kind of like this weird middle ground where it's like, it's not really a passion, although I am very passionate about it. Um, you know, it's not really a passion, but it's, just something where I don't really have to force myself to do the stuff that I don't like about it either, right? So it's kind of like that happy medium. I hope that makes sense. And the reason, again, I'm babbling on about this in your reading, I apologize, is the fact that, you know, that's what I feel like this is talking about. It's like saying there's something in your life that maybe is a good middle ground, right? There's something in your life that you're maybe kind of a little bit passionate about, but maybe it's not a total passion. And it's also a little bit of work where maybe you have to stretch sometimes to grow and to learn. I think that's where your success is going to come from. So I feel a lot of you uh, could be looking for something like that to work on. And I feel you already know what it is. Uh, you have the Eight of Swords here. And <coughs> the Eight of Swords 
is about only seeing one way of doing things. Uh, again, everybody gets the Eight of Swords as well nowadays, and I just believe we're in a time where we pretty much have to just look for other ways of doing whatever it is that we want to do in life. And so, you know, that's, that's that. And sorry, I'm just dropping cards all over the place. So let me just fix that. And uh, we're going to, it was like a hundred cards that I just dropped. So <laughs> that those were not pop outs, uh, Scorpio. I'm just a Butterfingers in general. So uh, let's see here. Uh, with the Queen of Wands, you have the Seven of Swords here. Seven of Swords is fear in this situation. Again, some of you could have been dealing with lying, cheating, stealing. But again, that's not like the majority message I'm getting here. I'll show you. You have the Nine of Swords here. Nine of Swords is like the fear of repeating a mistake. Uh, so, and with the Seven of Swords here, with the Queen of Wands to the star, this would be like the fear of exposure, which I think is the biggest fear that will be affecting everyone over the next 20 years, is like the fear of being wrong, the fear of saying something and people making fun of you. Uh, we have Pluto and Aquarius, and you know, it's all about um, being a star. <laughs> so it's like, can you shine your inner light? And can you get over the fear of, you know, people making fun of you? And what do you know? With the 10 of Pentacles, you have the seven of Pentacles. Uh, two sevens to me represents internal fears that don't exist. So definitely a time for you to work on your fears, to let your fears go. Uh, Seven of Pentacles is a change in direction. You also have the Two of Pentacles as well, which can kind of represent a change. It, it not really a change, but a choice, right? And so I kind of feel that some of you, um, you know, could be making a change in like your career path, or you could be making a change in what your Ten of Pentacles means to you. And again, your Ten of Pentacles is everything you want and desire in your life. That doesn't mean you're going to have everything. It just means, you know, what would that look like? Uh, with the Eight of Swords, you have the moon. <coughs> Excuse me. And the moon represents the fears or the things that are holding you back. So I feel for a lot of you that fear is the thing that is maybe preventing you from moving forward. So I feel it's time to clearly let go of some fears. Uh, next in the area of the unexpected, you have this community card and this mature woman card. I kind of feel like you're just the, the mature person here. Um, it, it doesn't matter what gender you are. You know, I read for a million, million of you, so it, it does matter. But uh, the community card, I feel, is like people wanting to help you achieve your goals. So I feel like people are actually very, um, you know, very supportive of you at this time. I feel the mature energy is just saying that something has matured, as in you are just ready to get started on your Ten of Pentacles. Uh, you have the Two of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, and the Nine of Swords. Two of Pentacles, I believe, is a new choice that you're making. And again, you might not totally be kind of, you know, you might not totally be changing your career, but I do feel that you could be making some changes to your career or, you know, it's like you could be doing things in new or different ways. Uh, you could be, you know, upgrading your skills in your career. You could be starting a YouTube channel about your career, which again, I tell everyone, it's like, you know, I, I tell everyone that they should have a YouTube channel nowadays because they, you should, even if no one watches, it does not matter. It's like the quickest way to make yourself valuable right now is to be sharing your information. And so it does, it doesn't matter. Like I always use the example. It's like, imagine you lose your job because whatever your company goes under. It's like, if you have a YouTube channel, number one, you could be making enough side money on, on it. That could be very helpful. But when you go apply for another job, it's like, you can be like, look, I'm a freaking expert. I literally talk about this all day on my YouTube channel. It's like that immediately makes you a billion times more valuable. It's like you're expressing your passion. You're, you're talking about it and all this other stuff. So, and you know, someone always gives me some crazy ass example of how they can't talk about it, blah, 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 right? I'm like, oh, okay, I don't care. It's like, if you're a nurse and you're a stripper on the side and obviously you can't maybe talk about that because maybe there's some rules, fine, I totally get it. But for the most part, for the majority, we're not talking about these crazy ass stories of like the one point zero 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 one percent person that exists out there, right? Uh, most of you are not like that. So, you know, most of you don't have to worry about that type of deal. So, and again, more and more companies are seeing the value in like people who, you know, uh, you know, share their information or teach about their career or whatever. You have the page of pentacles. Page of pentacles is like a new beginning. That's what I feel for you. It doesn't really represent a new beginning, but for whatever reason, I'm just getting a fresh start. That, that's really all I'm getting here. <laughs> I'm not getting anything else. And it's funny because we go up to the fool. It's like the fool is also a fresh start. So I kind of get more fresh start energy here. You have the nine of swords. Again, I think this is everybody's fear right now, repeating a mistake. Nine of swords is a never ending nightmare. And I feel like you're trying to avoid any never ending nightmares in your life. And you know, obviously that's a good thing. So uh, let's see what's going on here. Uh, with the two of pentacles, you have the six of pentacles. Six of pentacles is equal give and take. So uh, you know, it kind of represents making sure that you're entering into situations where there is equal give and take. 
or making sure that you're entering into situations where you give a little and you get a little back. So make sure there's balance in everything that you do, work, business, love, everything. With the Page of Pentacles, you have the Hermit, could be a Virgo coming in for you. So uh, I feel like you always show up in Virgo's readings. Vir Virgo is all up in your business as well. So it uh, could be a Virgo in love, could also be a water sign, um, could be an Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, or Leo, could be one of the fixed signs. I mean, you have it like everything here. Uh, with the Nine of Swords, you have the Four of Cups. Yeah, everybody's been getting this as well. Uh, I love this Four of Cups. This is from the White Sage Tarot, and you can see those three cups pouring into one cup. I really do believe we're in a time where um, where we're gonna be finding people who are more pouring into us. And so again, I feel like you could be really finding a person who's really, really kind of like pouring into you, who really wants to give to you in love. Uh, next, in the area of what's coming towards you, you have this versatility card. I mean, this should be everybody's middle name right now. Like, I'm thinking about changing my middle name to versatility because it's like we should be embracing versatility. I mean, we had that, the, the last set of eclipses, we had that Taurus eclipse. Everybody got this card in those readings, I remember, but also just the astrology. It's like the people who are versatile, who are flexible, who don't need things to go this way or that way, right? Who are willing to kind of roll with the punches. But again, they're not always going to be punches. Sometimes it's going to be rolling with the uh, jelly beans or something like that, right? Where it's going to be like good stuff. And But people who are willing to kind of uh, change quickly or make changes as they need to and who can adapt quickly, those are the people who are going to be very successful. So practice versatility now. You have this criticism card here here as well. I feel like you could be fearing criticism because we have the star here. You know, obviously very good row. Fool, king of cups, and the star. But what I would say is I read intuitively, and again, kind of like intuitively, what I'm getting on the star card is that you could be fearing that if you make some changes or if you do things differently in your life that you're going to get some criticism. I wouldn't even worry about it. I also feel there could be just a lot of fulfillment coming in for you. Star, it's not really a card of fulfillment, but kind of is. She is asking for something. You know, she is, that water here, she's pouring out onto the land. It's coming from the pool of universal consciousness. And what it represents on the star is that what's possible for one person is possible for everyone. So if something is in the consciousness, it becomes possible for everyone to do. But I kind of get some sort of fulfillment vibe here as well. So there you go. Uh, you have the King of Cups. Again, uh, I do feel this could be love coming in for you. So it could be a water sign. Um, you know, what I will say is that everybody gets the King of Cups nowadays as well. And I just kind of feel the King of, Cup, King of Cups archetype is just more, ex more kind of attractive right now. It doesn't even matter what gender you're attracted to. The King of Cups doesn't matter what's going on around him. He is in control of his life. He's in control of his destiny. You have the Wheel of Fortune right next to him. It, it's like, it doesn't matter what's going on around him. This is the type of person who's like very calm, cool, and collected, right? When we're, we're talking about like a high level version. So this could be any sign that's coming in for you, but it would just be like a calm, cool, collected person. You know, it's like, you know, when you think about it, like when we're, we're in these times that we're in right now with like the economy, it's like this person probably doesn't even complain about it. You know, they're probably just like, oh, well, it is what it is. I'm gonna do the best I can and work with what I've got, which is what I've been preaching to everyone that I think everyone should do that. Like just do what you can with what you got. It's like if you're worried about too much external stuff, then you're not going to get anything done. Again, my biggest concern, you know, based off the astrology is that I think in 20 years, there will be a lot of people who just sat around and worried and they like didn't do anything, you know, they just, except worry. And they're going to get to the next 20 years, 20 years going to ha have gone by and they're gonna be like, oh my God, all I did was worry about things that some of, some of the things maybe they did happen that they worried about. Some of the things definitely won't happen that people are worrying about. So it's like, there's no use worrying, right? And I kind of feel this is like a good energy to get into. But again, you could be attracting a person like that as well. Uh, you have the fool. The fool is about taking a leap of faith towards something new. I was just getting fresh start here going this way. So again, if you're, if you need a fresh start, <laughs> you know, maybe you need to start over on something or you just need a fresh start. I feel like that fresh start is coming. With the fool, you have the 10 of cups. Yeah. Fortune after difficulty. I love readings where we get the 10 of cups and 10 of pentacles. Uh, you know, 10 of cups is like happy home, happy family as well. So definitely, <coughs> excuse me, uh, definitely good if you are attracting love into your life. With the King of Cups, you have the Six of Wands here. Um, the Six of Wands is a card of victory and success. So, you know, I feel like you are kind of like moving towards a big victory uh, with that King of Cups. With the star, you have the page of cups. Yes, see, I, I kind of feel like this could be a love offer, someone who finds you very attractive. And I feel this person, um, you know, either, you know, this is like an admirer. This is someone you know, I feel here, Scorpio. So it's probably a person you know. 
And I kind of also feel it's someone you've been wishing for as well. <laughs> so if you've been like wishing for a certain person, uh, then this could definitely be that person coming in for you. The other thing I will say is that the Page of Cups can have to uh, do with a dream. Normally the Page of Cups has that fish in his cup. And I always say that fish is something that he might be imagining, something that he needs to grab onto and bring into his life. So, you know, for a lot of you, you know, I kind of feel that here where um, this could be saying that there's something that you need to like grab onto and bring into your life. And, um, you know, that's what I feel there with the Page of Cups. Uh, next, in the area of the good stuff, you have this activation card. It says you're attracting your soul purpose and receiving gifts. Awaken your soul and tap into the ancestral memories and inner wisdom. There you go. You have this card that says realize you have all the qualities to be a leader, emperor in this row. The emperor is the leader. So I feel like you really have to take the lead to make something happen in your life. And that looks to me like that's what you're doing. You have the five of wands, the um, wheel of fortune, and the emperor. The five of wands is a card of conflict and competition. Uh, but it's coming up and this is coming up in the good stuff. So if you are like worried that, you know, if you're attracted to a person and you're worried that there's a bunch of competition, I kind of feel like this is your person. So I wouldn't even worry about it. Uh, if you're working on a project and you're worried there's a lot of competition, doesn't matter. I would do it anyway. Um, you know, again, I think that competition is only going to get like, I think we're entering into a time of co-creation. Having said that, I think competition for things is only going to get worse as we move forward. So the trick is to not worry about it. The other trick is to just apply, as I say to everyone, just apply your own experience to the, the things that you're competing for, whether it's like a job, a business, whatever. Again, if you add that little extra piece of just your experience, which most people don't do, they just like think like, oh, I have to only do this job this way. But maybe you have a better experience or different ways of doing things. That's how you're going to beat the competition, plain and simple. Uh, you have the Wheel of Fortune. Uh, Wheel of Fortune is a card of your fate or your destiny and also kind of like luck turning in your favor. And that's really what I feel here is I feel that you feel that, you know, luck is kind of turning in your favor or, you know, that there's more success coming in for you or that uh, that you can, you know, I feel like you feel that if you do something that it's actually going to work instead of the other way around, right? <laughs> so I feel like this is very good for you here, Scorpio. Uh, you have the Emperor, and the Emperor, of course, is again a card of taking action and really making something happen. So I really do feel that it's time for you to really kind of like take action, make things happen, um, you know, take control of your life. And that's what I feel is going on here is this is saying it's time for you to take control, take action. And that's really all I'm getting there. The Wheel of Fortune, by the way, is also can be your card. Uh, you know, Wheel of Fortune is Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, or Leo, or Sagittarius. But, you know, you show up on the Wheel of Fortune. So love it. With the Five of Wands, you have the Strength card. Yeah, I feel like you've been very patiently um, waiting to overcome something or to accomplish something with that Five of Wands, and it just looks to me like you are. It's pretty simple. I don't like. There's nothing. There's nothing to talk about. With the Wheel of Fortune, you have the Queen of Swords. I feel like you are paying more attention to where you can get lucky. I keep telling people this as well. It's like, you know, I think we need to pay attention to little things right now as well if we want to be more successful. And if there are certain activities or certain things that you're good at that you do where you are more lucky, I would do more of those things, like whatever it is. It's like, you know, just to give you an example, it's like I should probably have another YouTube channel, which I do, right? <laughs> so it's like I'm already good at doing videos. Having another one would be very easy. I'm already lucky in doing this. I consider myself lucky. I tell myself I'm lucky with this, so I should do more of it, right? And same thing for you. It's like, where are those areas of your life where you feel extra lucky or you feel like you have easier breakthroughs? I would be doing more of that stuff. With the Emperor, you have the Page of Wands. Uh, this could be a new adventure. Uh, could also be just someone you're very attracted to coming in here. I don't know. I just have attraction popping into my head there with that card. So uh, there you go. But let's see. We're going to pull five main themes now. <coughs> Excuse me. You have this coins card. It says money will be coming to you. Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. You know, even though Ten of Cups doesn't have to do with money, I feel like you're increasing your finances. I also feel you're like, you know, kind of on the right path here. And that's what's increasing your luck as far as uh, finances are concerned. You have this heart card. It says love, deep affection, and caring. So definitely a very caring connection if you're looking for love. Uh, you have the shield card. It says you need to defend yourself. Yeah, I would protect yourself from negative energies. Again, we are kind of like in a little bit of a negative time, right? Where things seem more negative. And again, I personally, I, I don't watch the news. I don't pay attention to any of that stuff, any of the negative news, any of that, all, all that, you know, other stuff that's going on. Don't, I don't even pay attention, right? And so I would do the same thing f with you. And uh, I, I'm like super, you know, super uh, specific about this. I don't even watch TV shows or anything that affect me negatively, right? I avoid all that stuff. 
Uh, you have this tortoise card that says slowly but surely getting ahead. I feel like you feel like you're making forward movement. I do feel with that shrink card at the end here that maybe you feel that you've been put on pause for a long time and you kind of feel like, to, to me, you feel like you feel <laughs> that you're moving forward. You have this stork card. It says news of a birth or a new business opportunity. There you go. Definitely, this whole entire reading was kind of talking about new opportunities coming in. But this is a really good reading here, Scorpio. So I love it. Uh, thank you for being here and definitely enjoy your week.